Hello friends, welcome to another session. Uh, I'm Sanjay from subchip.com. Um, as I have already told you, the interesting part of Dynamics CRM and the Dynamics 365 is uh, product catalog, which is in settings area. So last time I have discussed regarding unit groups. And this time I will discuss about price list. So price list is one of the most important concept uh, while set up in, setting off uh, products in Dynamics 365. So as I, have, as I can say price list are nothing but uh, the level of pricing a specific company applies for a specific product to different types of customers so we can associate price list with the transactional records like opportunities orders and invoices so every price list contains some price list items and uh, let's say for example uh, you have a, a business deals with retail customers and at the same time there are some wholesale customers and some distributors and preferred customer pricings. So Dynamics 365 provides a way to define the pricing, the level of pricing, uh, so that the business deals with the specific customers with specific pricing. And uh, this price list provides the ability to sell a product in different pricing so for the business need a specific business wants to sell the same product with a different price with different customers also price list can be specific with uh, marketing campaigns suppose uh, a business launches some you know campaigns for external sales or external lead capture so in that scenario we can define some specific price list that will target the marketing campaigns and uh, there is another concept of price list uh, that price list can be system calculated or user defined so if you select user defined then the price list uh, amount will be overridden and that price list amount will not be added anymore in transactional records so let's say an example for a business there is a retail customer and the business wants to sell 12 packs of a specific product for four four dollar and the same product with 12 packs and a wholesale customer purchases with two pound and a distributor purchases 12 packs of the same product from the company with one dollar that means you can see here the same product is sold to different customer types with with different pricing so this is what a price list all about and a price list contains pricing list items which will define whether it is a retail price list or well wholesale right wholesale price list or distributor price list or preferred customer whatever category you will define that will have a price list item against that price list so price list is an important factor which defines the product price while selling the product so let's look the way we configure the price list in on uh, Dynamics 365. Now for this we have to go to settings and product catalog. In the product catalog we have price list option. Click this price list. Here we will find a number of existing price list in this uh, you know uh, Dynamics 365 out of the box uh, data set. We have retail price list, preferred reseller, then we have uh, India cost rates, 
then warren price list so these are all you know existing price lists price lists we have in the system already and now we can also create our own price list by clicking new button while creating price list it will ask to provide the price list name let's say VIP customers and say VIP customers touching list and uh, the currency is US dollar and the you know, give a description that uh, this price list VIP customers. Now just save the uh, price list. And once you save the price list, you will have a section called as price list items. So if you go here, you will find price list items here. now you can add the price list items here so once you set up the price you can add the uh, you know products against the price list item So you can choose a product, let's say we have already created a product in last, you know, last session. Uh, just search the name. Bottle. This is the orange flavored water bottle that I have created last time while uh, presenting the, you know, unit group uh, tutorial now select this and the unit will be bottle so for one bottle when I will sell this to a VIP customer then the price will be one dollar so quantity selling option should be whole because I cannot sell a bottle with uh, 1.5 bottle so it should be whole now I can save it now I have just shaved a new price list item against the VIP customer and let's close this and go to the uh, price list view so let's say we have an existing price list called as retail and we have a vip customer uh, that is being created right now so a specific product i just want to sell uh, using retail price list is let's open this retail price list in this retail price list I can add my product here I can add my product so the product is uh, the water bottle so select the product here again so i'm just creating a price list item 
against the price list retail okay so that the product will be added here in this price list So this is the product I want to choose here and this is the next is selecting the unit And the unit will be bottle and the amount will be 0.5 dollar and the quantity selling option is whole now you can see I have just added the product orange flavored water bottle and the retail price list with amount 0.5 dollar and I have added the same product in the uh, in the you know VIP customer price list it's one dollar that means whenever I will sell a water water bottle with this price list retail price list then my charges will be the customer has to pay 0 0.5 dollar and if I will sell this product same product to a you know VIP customer then he has to pay one dollar so accordingly I can create different types of price list and I can associate my product with this price list so that when any transactional record will be created I can choose the price list accordingly the you know uh, the uh, um, the price will be calculated let's say let's go to to check this price list in association with opportunity let's say go to sales and create opportunity and here click new opportunity so in this opportunity we will add a product line item that water bottle and we'll choose the price list as retail let's say the topic is well water bottle required parents will be US dollar by default now save the opportunity Once you save this opportunity, you will find the option uh, section called as product line items. You go to product line items. Here you can add the product. So it will ask you, you must select a price list before attempting to add product. Now go to price list section and every, uh, you know every opportunity requires a price list to be associated with it so that the uh, pricing will be calculated according, accordingly select the price list here and if you go here you have to select the price list and as I have told you we will select the new you know uh, new price list we have just added we have customers I can select this and I will add so here you will find the revenue calculation method either it, it would be system calculated or uh, user provided if you select this system calculated then the price list item values uh, will be calculated as a you know uh, estimated revenue now select this as system calculated and try adding products here select existing product and let's say so the product called as bottle this is my bottle here 
and the selected date and I can give the quantity as you can see the price per unit is one dollar I can change the quantity to have five okay and I can save it so and as the opportunity says it is 12 so I can select the quantity it's 12 and I can save it now the estimated revenue you can see here it is 12 but if I will change the price list to to point to the retail price list uh, which we have configured the price list item as 0 0.5 you know uh, 0 0.5 uh, dollar for one bottle then the the estimated revenue will be changed so once you change the priceless retail just recalculate opportunity button here then the estimated revenue will be changed now you can see the estimated revenue becomes becomes six uh, six dollar so the point here is your opportunity revenue or your code price will always be calculated against the price list items and the uh, amount uh, that is applicable for that price list so this is how we can configure the price list and we can associate with the transactional records like opportunity and orders so thank you very much for watching this tutorial in next session i will uh, I'll tell you how to configure the discount list and uh, how to associate the discount list with uh, the uh, price list so that we can provide a uh, discount to some customer and or some distributors.